What is up guys, welcome back for game eight, the final game of week one of the DPL between Wigglytuff's Guild and Legion of Boom. This is my game. As you can see, my name is on screen there. Astro J at the bottom left of the replay window. You can see the series score above my head is three and four. To my dismay, we are losing this week currently and I need to win this game to for us to even draw, for us to even come away with a tie on week one, which I'm not happy about. I think that we could have easily won this week. I, I think that we were in a prime position to win the week straight up, and then things went horribly wrong and we lost three games in a row. But here we are. Now, you see the team on screen. If you've followed me in the DPL over the last few seasons, you'll know I've mainly played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why. I, I kind of just got slotted there and ended up being like a premier Usum player, although my Swish record is better than my Usum record and <laughs> my other formats are like pretty good too. But yeah, basically I'm an Ultra Sun Ultra Moon main and uh, if you know the teams that I've used in the past couple of seasons, I won season six with uh, Wings of Wrath and my team was Z Lando, Z Thundy Eye, uh, Mega Sharpedo, Infernape, Clef Key, Necrozma, and I forget the last two. Uh, and then last season, we tried to replicate that team when we were on Infernal Armory, when I captained. We we came up with something similar to that, but instead of Infernape, because it was taken, we ended up with a Salazzle on it. But if you look at this team structure, it's kind of the same, just a little bit different, right? So you have Zara Aura, which is considered one of the, the strongest mons in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You have Zygarde, which is a ground type. Now it doesn't get Intimidate, but it fulfills a lot of other roles, right? It can be a breaker, it can be a setup sweeper. It can, it can basically do a lot of the same things that Lando does. And then you have the Dark and Water Mega, you have the Steel type Spiker, you have the Necrozma, you have the Fast Fire type for Revenge Killer. So, I mean, it's essentially the same team that I've been using. It just looks quite different. The water and dark type's a lot more bulky, but it doesn't have like the the end game sweeping potential that Shark does, because Shark just like breaks. Although you could argue that it does because of Dragon Dance. Uh, Zara Aura is a better mon than than Thundi overall, in my opinion. Uh, Zygarde's a little bit worse than Lando. Skarmory, obviously not as good as Klefki. It doesn't have like Prankster and all that, but we have Prankster on the team, as you can see with Whimsicott, it's just assigned to a different role. So I think that this team overall is a little bit sturdier than what we've been using, and it's affordable, right? The prices on a lot of the stuff that I had used previously have gone up, like Mega Sharpedo. I think that Lando went up. A lot of different things have gone up in price. So that team structure is not as easy to make anymore. So we ended up on this. But anyway, we are against Bobbert. And uh, as you can see, Bobbert's team has a Togedemaru, which shuts down Zara Aura, funny enough, if it's not like carrying Focus Blast. It's got Z Lino and Z Cofagrigus, two excellent Z Mons. I think that Cofag is, is very underrated as a uh, as a Z user with like Trick Room, Nasty Plots, Z Shadow Ball, etc. They have a Superior, which we thought was looked really good in tandem with uh, with Zara Aura, and we were planning on maybe using that as well. Uh, that was uh, one of our potential plans here was superior and, and ended up getting sniped from us because we accidentally leaked our draft plan. Shout out to Burger. Uh, and uh, they got a Rotom, they got a Mega Pidgeot, they got a Metagross, and they got a Conkeldur. So they actually have pretty good uh, Mega Gyarados checks in uh, superior and Conkeldur. Now what you'll notice about those two mons is that they're weak to flying. And, and Mega Gyarados is not a flying type, but Gyarados is. Gyarados is a flying type. So we went through, I, I made an initial build of this team and made slight adjustments as opposed to like completely reconstructing it because the mocks were going pretty well and I ended up like making adjustments to the spreads and some move sets. And my final change was on Gyarados. The last change that I made was a day before the game on the Saturday and I made it on the Gyara and I settled with the team and I was like, okay, this is what I'm going in with. So let's see how this game played out. So I lead off with Zara Aura into their Cofagrigus. Now, lead Cofagrigus should scream Z. It, it should scream to you that it's it, that it's a Zmon. So I'm sitting here like, okay, Cofagrigus is a lead. It doesn't do too much. Like it looks really good into my team, right? Like on first glance, you look at it and it's like, wow, it's like Shadow Ball is extremely spammable. But I'm sitting here, actually, you know what? This is how I was sitting during this game. I was leaned back and I was like, all right, Cofagrigus. Cool. I'm going to call mind here. It immediately goes for Z Shadow Ball. And I take 48% because I'm pretty bulky. And I'm there like, all right, well, cool. Um, your Cofagrigus is not going to want to stay in. What are you going to do? Like get up Trick Room as I call mind again? Like 
make me faster than all of your special attackers. Like, I don't, I don't get it. What, what, what are you trying to do with this Cathagrius here? So I'm like, all right, well, um, I guess you're going to try to take advantage of the damage that you just got and uh, your Lando's likely scarfed, right? Because this is Z. Screw it. I'm just going to fire off an HP ice this turn and Lando comes in and I'm like, okay, cool. If it's Yachi, it's Yachi. It's not Yachi. It dies. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, Trick Room's not up. I have a plus one, plus one, zero aura. They have no ground type left. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Um, this is actually a really good position. Hold on. Um, better than the one I'm sitting in right now, but yeah. Uh, anyway, so Conk comes in, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not staying in on Conk. Uh, it can mock punch me if it wants, but then it doesn't get damage off anywhere else. Uh, I'm actually just gonna Volt Switch here on the Conk Elder Dude 29%, which reveals to me that it's probably AV, uh, because that did way too little. And I just go into Skarmory, it goes for Drain Punch, it does 28, gets a little bit of health, loses some more because I'm Rocky Helmet. And then my Skarmory is just going to get up, uh, Stealth Rocks. And now the Cofagrius comes in instead of the Rotom, which I was like, uh, what? <laughs> what's what's happening here so i just stay in i go for a whirlwind here because i'm like okay if he trick rooms then he's like in a in a pretty cool spot for himself actually uh i kind of don't want to allow that so if he trick rooms at least that there's like three targets that i'm actually faster than and that i can maybe stay in on and his cofagrigus would have like basically wasted a turn but he ends up going for shadow ball conk comes back in i'm minus one spit f now but i'm at 22 hp 22 percent rather sorry meaning this thing can not kill me with mock because you saw how much drain punch did earlier and I'm just going to go for a uh, Brave Bird this turn as Cofagrius comes back and it takes like 30-ish percent, 24 from the Brave Bird. And uh, I'm going to take some chip. I end up going for another Brave Bird here. Uh, that one does 28, a little bit more. Goes for Shadow Ball, knocks me out. Now, I position my Gyarados. They know I'm Mega Gyarados, obviously. That's that's revealed. Your Cofagrius isn't actually doing that much more. But I thought, hey, you know what? It's Z Shadow Ball. Uh, it's probably Nasty Plot, Trick Room, and like Grass Knot. If I had to guess, something along those lines, maybe will o -Wisp, maybe will o -Wisp, right? That, that's the fear here is that it's possibly will o -Wisp. but I'm going to stay in regular and I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance and Superior comes in and I get off a DD. Now, Superior in this matchup is the Mega Garachek. It's that and Conkelder. It's like a combination of both. They're the best things at checking Mega Gera because Gera goes crazy, right? Rotom it gets hit by Earthquake from Mold Breaker if I'm Earthquake, and like Crunch decimates everything else. And Lando's weak to water, uh, and I could just as well be Ice Fang if I wanted to. But we realized this in Mox, or rather, I realized it, and I was like, wait a minute, Serp is always coming in. Serp is 100% always coming in on Gyarados. So how do I take advantage of that? It's always like clicking Glare, clicking Leaf Storm, right? It's never doubling out. So, we click bounce. And I stay regular. And this superior goes for glare. And it's immediately threatened out because it is going to die. To bounce. Now, I ran these calcs. And Rotom comes in. With rocks up. And I go for bounce. And we do 37%. And now I know this is a max HP Rotom. And I also know it dies to crunch from this range. It's gone. No possibility of getting your little eye of Papa Berry. Get the hell out of here. Now, bounce is no longer stab. So Serp can eat it if it's like really bulky. So Serp comes back in and tries to go for glare, which, or synth, which I knew it would, right? Because bounces a roll from this range but if it gets back up to full bounce is no longer a roll and this thing is likely rocky helmet so i'm i'm sat there like okay you want a synth and you want me to bounce and then i'm faster than you i come back down and that's when you glare me and i take the rocky helmet chip and then you're no longer in dodge against the uh <laughs> against the gyarados so i'm like no taunt just nope you're not doing it now they switch out as I could easily go for Crunch, which is what I believe I do this turn. No, I go for Bounce, because Crunch wouldn't KO the Serp. Uh, but now it's taunted, so it can't Synth, and it has to sit there at 76%. Uh, and I can dodge Leaf Storm by bouncing, and then just catch the Leaf Storm on the way back down, and then Crunch, right? Then the Serp is dealt with. So I just go for Bounce, the Conk comes in and dies to Bounce immediately. And now the Serp comes back in, and now... Bobbert is, of course, terrified of me clicking Taunt, which I know at this point. So I'm like, all right, crunch it up. Does 55%. 
and it is indeed helmet they go for leaf storm it only does 54 because i'm quite bulky and go for another crunch and serp is dead and i'm sitting at 13 percent but that is all i need because all that's left is the 28 percent or 24 percent excuse me cofagragus and the 75 percent pidgeot because i kept up rocks and pidge even if it lives this you guys understand that i have a zara or in the back so i'm just gonna go for crunch and pidgeot dies it would have had to be like max defense to live that by the way and kofag comes in and that's another crunch and this is a mega gyarados super sweep the only mon that it didn't kill was the landorus it killed literally everything else because i ran crunch bounce taunt dragon dance crazy set right not something that you typically see on a mega gyarados you'll you'll typically see the megas stabs but in this case because serp and conk were such obvious switch-ins uh at preview to the gyarados i decided no i'm gonna stay regular i'm gonna click dd as they switch out to serp and then i'm gonna bounce and then it's gonna be threatened out and then i'm gonna get a ko elsewhere even if i don't end up KOing the serp i know that i can like force it to attack me and basically just like be low which opens up the rest of my team and if i can knock out the rotom i actually open up my salazzle if i knock out the pidgeot i open up my uh zygarde for example right so there's a lot of different routes that mega gyarados enabled which is something that mega sharpedo never did mega shark got off like one hit died and didn't really open up the rest of the team because the rest of the team wasn't as offensive as this one gara is super bulky but it can enable everything else so I'm really liking this build and I'm gonna enjoy using it in the future. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is, but as you guys can see, this series ends 4-4. After the game, I was not happy. I won, I won 5-0. It, it was a super clean win, but I was not happy because I think that our team can do better. I think that we have the tools and the people necessary the brains necessary to actually go far this season and i am not content with a draw i would have been content with a 5-3 win i am not content with a draw so moving forward we are going to kick it up a notch we're going to make sure that we understand where the struggles are in every single matchup where we can just falter and where things are not going well and patch those up because this to me is unacceptable this result is unacceptable because i know that we can do better so as a, as a team as a unit moving forward we're going to try to do that but thank you guys for watching this week. Really appreciate it. Uh, once again, my game is going to be last next week, but these videos are going to continue to come out. Like week two is happening right now. Like we are playing games right now as you're watching this video and, and Sunday is like loaded with games, right? That's when like half of the DPL schedules its games. So these, these videos are going to be constant. It's going to be daily videos. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please, please, please guys, uh, I'm trying to get to 2k by the end of the year. It's going to be really hard, but I've, I've seen the numbers. I've seen the, the amount of people just subbing daily. I think that it's doable. Uh, I'd also like to get monetization back on the channel with, with YouTube's new rules in the past few years, I lost monetization on my channel because I wasn't uploading. So so now that I am, if you guys uh, do enjoy these videos, if you support me, then uh, please make sure to, to continue watching them, even if it's just putting them on in the background. Uh, the, the ones from my teammates from the DPL uh, during the week are super short videos. They're easy to just leave on. So uh, if you want to do that for me, it would be very much appreciated. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. Like the video if you haven't done that yet. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this, this format for this week. And if you want me to continue doing it this way, or if you had other ideas, I'd be uh, happy to listen. And uh, thank you guys so much. And I will catch you tomorrow. See ya.